Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you a new title that I've created that we just added to our free starter pack. It's a letter of flickering effect that uses a follower modifier. I'm going to share with you how to use it and how to get the most out of it. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can get that title by downloading our free starter pack with a link in the description below. You will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will just uh, pop open that folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the instruction, the GRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font if you don't have them. If you're just updating the pack and you've already installed all those font, that should be fine. Uh, no need to reinstall all of them, but if that's your first time, just make sure to select all the font, double click on them and start the installation process. If you don't install the font, the pack will not work. Then you can just go to the TRFX file and double click on the TRFX, which is gonna prompt open that window. If you already have the free starter pack installed, that will just ask you to overwrite. Otherwise, they will just ask you to install. Click install or overwrite. Then once in the resolve, you can go over to effect, then titles, video the studio, and then here you can just scroll down to the free start pack and you can just go all the way down here to start text and you will have the modern flicker and then you can just take it and drag it directly on your timeline now let me run you through the functionality available with this title because the title has been created using a follower modifier you can here choose the order of the right on so here it's by default left to right but you can choose to have it right to left for example or you can choose to have inside out outside in random but divide by one or completely random right now let's just go back to default automatic you can choose the size and position so we can just replace that for example here at the bottom we can increase or decrease the size then here you have the text you can make some modification to the text so here we can just write davinci resolve instead you can change the font but here you cannot change the color because of the way it has been made and here having like a keyframe on uh, the color of the text we cannot change the color however you can change the color of that letter we've created here like a color wheel where if you adjust the u you can just change uh, the color right there with the u and you can change the intensity of that color with the saturation so you can just increase that or decrease it to have it, for example, here, a shade of gray. You can adjust the space between the letter here with the tracking, for example, and that's pretty much it for the text. Then here we have the shadow. So here you can just enable that and you will have a drop shadow behind your text. You can adjust the strength of that shadow. You can adjust the angle and you can adjust the drop distance. You can also choose a different color, but then that will not, you know, work so well. So I will suggest to just keep it as black. Then here we got the glow. So same, you can just enable it. Here it's very intense. So what we're gonna do is bring the gain down just to make it a bit more subtle. And right now, as you can see, it make a pretty big difference to make the title pop. And then the last option here is background. So it's a pre-animated background that you can have between your title and your footage to help your title stand out. So here the opacity at the moment is at zero, but you can increase that opacity to go from nothing to a solid. But here we still want to see our footage. So I'm just gonna bring it at zero uh, four, for example. And as you can see, there is a fade in animation with the title. Now you can also use that background to create a vignette. So here, for example, if I just go back to size and position, I can reset any parameter by just double clicking on it. And then here I will adjust the width and the height. And then I will adjust the corner radius to create a circular shape. And then here we can just hit invert and that create that sort of inverted mask. And then here we can just adjust the soft edge to draw the focus on the title a lot more. Now, again, with the opacity, we can adjust the intensity of that by having it very present like that or by reducing it to be a bit more subtle. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and that you will use this title in your project. Let me know in the comment what kind of title you would like to see next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.